How's it going, lads? Keith, welcome back. Sorry, just had to take a drink there. It's only right now 11.25 a.m. And I'm just up out of bed. Lazy. Had to go up to sort the dogs out, you know. Let them all, like, go out and do their business and... Get them out of that cage. Anyway, today is just a mail call. I've had this mail call since last week, but I had been putting it off until I organised. I wanted my next mail call to be the RC mail call, the RC Elf. Shout out to him. Um, that was I let I waited for that mail call to come, so we could go ahead then and do this mail call as you will remember before I knew anything about the the RC elves uh, RC is that he was sending me I was at the mentioning that I had um, an order on the way so me main and me egg plane and everything else for 2022 so first I'll start off with just another one of my master box kits um, for the zombie diorama when it does finally come to I'm just trying to get a building kit a kit that's a building so we can use it as a fort like I got that master box kit also part of the skull clan because th these are all the post apocalyptic type um, master box kits the um, skull clan ones so that's why I go for uh, the Skull Clan for the, the zombie diorama because it comes up with all this, these type of things. So it comes with the bike, with the skull on the bike, the side cart, the woman with a ball and chain weapon, the driver and the thief, which is classed as a thief in this... This kit includes parts for the assembly of three figures and one motorcycle. So it's classed, he's supposed to be the thief. He has a bag of bread or something in his hand there, but I don't think you, you could make that into art. Looks like bread and a can in his hand. I don't know if they're molded into the, the pieces or not, or are they separate? I hope they're separate, but if they're not separate, I can always turn them into something else. I'll make them look like something else. But anyway, Skull Clan is towards my next, or towards my zombie diorama. So that's that one. My main town group build for 2021, which I was excited about this plane because I don't know if any of you have ever seen it or not, but. I've only seen it, this, when I was purchasing it, was the only time I've seen it, and I wanted to dive on it, because I like the look of it, it's the Plaffy Y20, Plaff Y20 transport aircraft, as you can see, it's like a similar type deal to like a 747, only in a two town type, I don't know, but it's a main tomb group build kit entry for this year of 21 when it comes, or 22 when it comes. So that's my main group build entry in any way when it comes around. So I'm happy that I got that one. It's a cool looking plane. I also got my egg plane. Which is the F A eighteen Hornet. So that's my egg plane for the egg plane group build. So that's the two um little fun cause the two little fun group builds that we do have. That's that one starts the fourth of September, which is the day after my GT group build starts. So I will be in on that as well as my own GT group build. And whatever else builds ha come up at that time. 
which I, I am sure um, the cancer awareness, I've actually to finish my cancer awareness, it's just done. It really is just done. Just like, oh, where did I put it? I put it somewhere to keep it safe out of the way inside a box, I think. Just so I didn't knock it down or break it. But anyway, back to the mail call, lads. I end up getting the 120 scale Tyrrell Formula 1 car. The only other Formula 1 car I have is the 112 scale Brab Brabham. Brabham. You know the one I got there recently with the Martini livery. Well, that's the only um, F1. And I like F1 cars. Now, I know there's um, a few nice 124 ones. But because I had a 120 scale um, rally car, I want to try get a 120 scale of each car, if you get me. I have a 120 rally. A 120th Formula 1 and then if we can get a 120th say JDM car 120th American Muscle car or you know something like that just to have for a 120th shelf display so I got that as well and I also got the JDM Sylvia spec or stock spec or version Um. Yeah, I have a few Sylvias as is now, like JDM cars. This is actually a nice kit. Bit pricey for a plain Jane kit with no engine, but like to me, I think it's only a 30, max 30 euro kit. I was charged 35 euro for this one, so I think it was a little bit over its price. That's the box art on it. On both sides, you can show on white or grey. Sylvia, Specor. So it has Specor bumpers and all that. And the notorious um, Sylvia uh, spoiler comes in it. The one with the little brake light triangle, upside down triangle in it. I also got this for my... Cosword, as is now, Cosword are another car that are close to my heart through my father. My father loved um, all Ford cars and rally cars, any type of rally cars really. And that's why I went and spent so much on that kit. Uh, just there, the start of the year, I went and spent so much on that kit second hand. All the parts were off the sprues, but... I went through everything and everything was um there there wasn't one piece missing that one piece damaged so yeah I got that on eBay I got uh, I had to pay 50 euros to release this to, from customs because the guy had it up on eBay for 130 or something but I got it for a hundred quid so like I nearly paid 200 quid around 150 160 for this kit to get this kit but just because it was a car that my dad who now has passed away um, was a very big fan of all Fords and a lot of the uh, European cars like the Ford most Fords Ford Capri Ford Escort um, he, had, he had an XR3 OS cart years ago himself he's on one he had the Opel Ascone GTS or something or GT when I was a kid he had a lot of cars years ago my father did before he died so but the Fords had a special um, place in his heart these are Opels so that's why I do be going mad to get the Cosworths but in any way yeah, you got this, or I got this to build in my father's name when I do build it. But he used to love the races, so I got this decal set, and you can see you get the proper RS500 um, dashboard comes with the, the right hand dashboard, which already comes in the kit comes in this um, decal sheet 
So you just paint the blue and then you have that decal sheet then to put on it. So uh Labats don't drink and drive. So I hope a few years or most all years actually don't do that over the Christmas. Stay safe. Don't drink and drive. But anyway, yeah, it comes with the dashboard, the racing dashboard, as you can see, where the stock car doesn't come with the racing dashboard, it just comes with the stock dashboard, which this is the stock Cosworth, the street version in the rarest uh, colour that it was made in, the blue. So um, this is not an RS500 Cosworth, as you can see, it's the XR4i, which is the 4x4 basically Cosworth. It has the double whale tail as you can see, but they were, it was lower down. So that's why I end up getting this one. If I really wanted to, as you can see in the back window, this has a fly window in the key. All that is, is that little piece of plastic that's on the, the body. All I have to do is cut that away. And then it's exactly the same as that without a fly window. So that's the plan for the Cosworth that I got to do for my dad and his memory. So I have that thrown in there now with the other Cosworth decals that I have because I do still want to get other Cosworths. I do want to get another Escort Cosworth because um, I done what a body build with Sean on the last one turned out great. It was a good build with Sean. Shout out to Sean and um, I wanna get another Cosworth. I wanna either get the I wanna get the mall basically, I wanna get another S cart if I can get one around and I wanna get the RS five hundred version. And if I could pick up another XR4, I would actually pick that up too, just so we can do that as a stock version, do you get me? And then do the two track versions, the RS500 and then the XR4 track version. Another sheet of sandpaper, a sand sponge, 600. Anyway guys, question. I know it's a little ramble on now. That's it for the mail call today. But this glue cost me nine euros over here right i don't know how much it years i charged in the u.s for gorilla glue now i got this last week but just under nine euros and it was just under under half filled for a half bottle of glue nine euros i can't believe like the, the prices they put on it is unbelievable yeah it's very good glue it's that good of glue that I did go out and get the brush on version which was a little bit cheaper it's a little bit cheaper we am um, a couple of euros I think it was seven euros Um, but as you can see it's only up to there on the bottle you can see it. so it's just up over the corner of that blue line so it's a half a bottle of glue is what you're paying for you're not paying for a full bottle of glue or three quarters or anything you're paying for just a half bottle of glue and you're getting charged my money now that's woodies now, it's also picked up a couple of spray cans you guys get charged a couple of euros for them as well, don't you? Rust oleum. Well, these are only uh, these are a sixteen euro over here. The some that go for twelve euro. Now the older paints that are out there longer. So I got two of them. The hardest color to find a wine. I want to do a nice card in a wine color. Can't get that colour in the paint unless you get it made from splash paint or something. But I've never purchased online from splash paint or anything like that. Um, 
but I will be soon because I do need to get midnight purple. I want to get that's just one color I need to get is midnight purple. I'd love to have a midnight purple, so or any of them types of um splash paints like the blue that they have because there's not like blue as well. Um, yeah, it'd be nice to get um paints or uh. Very costly for a little um, tub of paint. That's just me. You don't know if you. I've never used this, so I don't know. I've seen what used guys have done with it, with that type of paint, and the paint jobs turn out amazing. So um. Yeah, I will be uh, going down the route of getting a few of them splash paints but anyway I have an update on the artillery group build so this is what I have done to the artillery group build at the moment if you can see that still a lot more detail to go into it the rockets you had little decals and all in this you know to see one part and then say B2. None of them match up. B2 is where the C1 is meant to be. They mixed the sprues up big time. On the Atalari um, version of the Priest. But everything is there. It's just the C parts are on the B um, sprue. And the B sprue are on the C parts. Also... I have an update on the Pearl Harbor group build, which is the albatross that I'm building. I find that hard because it's like two sets of wings. I did they put the photo with seat and all into it, and um, because the dials are so small, I put the dials onto the little side uh, thing that sits in front of them. You can't even see all that when it's done. So I said, I'm not going to use any more of the uh, photo edge until I know it's noticeable. So I have for the front of the propeller, there's a photo edge piece that goes on the front. I can use that when it's done. I can use the photo edge pieces that go on the side of the wheels. I can use them and the exhaust um, manifold thing. I can use them also. Because you get two different propellers as well. So I don't know if one has... Um, I didn't check to see if one uses PE or what. But um, I know in this kit, the Albatross kit, that like this isn't sanded yet. So if you see any shiny parts, that is just cement, uh, real thin cement. Trying to get it together because I had got a few fitment issues, but I did seem to get it all together for so I still have to put the nose front on it, and then that has a PE, as I said, part to go on. I am gonna just go probably with the red, I don't know for sure. I'll probably just do it the khaki color like that. There's five different versions on the box, so there's the red one with the skulls. Which I thought would look cool, so the wheels aren't actually glued in place yet. They're just mocked up. That's a photo wedge part there that braces the two legs, out, and I'm sure that's supposed to be up underneath that. Um, yeah, it's trying to, now that I never built a plane before, it's trying to get the double sets of wings to look alright and line up. So that's where I am with the. Pearl Harbor group build right now. Um, that was the update also on the artillery group build. And just a few additions to the stash. As you know. So, um, yeah. I have to... Um, I know the kids I sent out to the far guys last week. I know... The nearest person got his so far. Um, the second uh, winner of the giveaway that I done for my group build. Um, Kev 
from England, Stig 800. He actually won the second car, which was the Mazda MX-5, the Roadster. So, um, yeah, he got that yesterday. He contacted me, told me he got it yesterday. So, that's good that he got that. Um, so, the guys from the US, the kit was sent out on the same day. Um, Russell, Nemo, Neiman Chambers, and who else was it again? Come to me. I can't think. Jeffrey. How could I forget? My bud Jeff. Jeffrey Tree. Jeff Tree. That's on the way to you, buddy, as well. So you should get that shortly. The post is actually speeding up over here a bit because of um, coming up to Christmas, they're running off their feet. But we're in saying that the kit that was sent to me, remember last week, here's the update on me and Jeff. It's, it's in Primer. As you can see, I've done it out, I hollowed out the, the vents on the hood. You can see yellow tape through the vents. Because I have the engine bay is already sprayed black. So everything else now is going to be body colour. So that's it in Primer. The Dodge Viper body build. Yeah, I'm probably a bit far along. Or then again, I'm probably miles behind Jeff. But I have got this build. And the two group builds going at the same time. So, and then I have a story project. Me, um, Model T is up there. The one that was out with the 1925 kit I got off Mike. My good old pal Mike had sent me an old um, 34 kit Ford. Wait, Ford 29 kit, 1929 Model T kit, Ford 2 and 1, so it's the chop top version, so when that Model T truck there is built, I will be able to do the, the Ford chop top Model T version then, like L Tom Rambler 69, he does awesome build and I'll be looking into a lot of his um and a lot of you other guys that have built the old Fords and I'll look into um a few of you uh old build plants that you've done with them that you um finalised on your builds the last time you've built them. Try to get if an idea of what looks better and what what I should do, you know, like to make it look good because I like them, I like to look at them when they're done. As you can see in the background, there the wheels are red, so you obviously already know the, the color of the body is going to be red. So the wheels are done there, red off it. So they turned out nice. It's good that. You have rubber tires on them uh, 1929 Ford Model T kits. The spare tire that you get on it is a uh, obviously a plastic tire. It's because it you don't use it. It goes on the, um, the in the back of the truck or on the back of the car or whatever you're building from the kit. But anyway, lads, sorry this video has been a bit long with the mail call and the updates and whatever else. But um, yeah, that's where I am for now. So I know we have till February, Jeff, to do this build. So I have plenty of time. I also hollowed out the, the back air splitter, the diffuser vents as well. I cut them out and also. Just because there's a GTR version of the um, Viper as is now. The racing version. It's a GTR, and I want to sort of get that look, the GTR look on the GTS car. I might put a big wing on the back of it as well. You know, to make it look like the GTR. But anyway, lads, that's me with my rambling for another week or whatever or a while to the next update anyway so um yeah stay safe and keep building 
and I wish you all a very happy Christmas. I am going to get to everyone that I have an address for, I am going to fill out a Christmas card, post them. Um, if you don't get them for the Christmas and you just get them belated, that's due to my fault for leaving us so late to send them. I know it's still like, what, two weeks away or something for Christmas. So you, there might be a chance that you'll get them on time. If you don't, lads, I'm very sorry, but I, I'll get them out to you anyway. Just so you know. And then next year, I'll make sure everything is sent by November. Like, L Tom, good Tom Rambler 69 sent me one. I very appreciate it. Thank you, Tom. I love it. Especially, you know how I like the way he does his forwards and... It just looks awesome. I know a lot of us got the same one. It's actually a kill design. I wonder if he designed these himself. You can always let me know if you designed these yourself, Tom. These look kill. They really are, because you picked the right card for, for Santi to go around delivering these packages in. And now a hot rod for... The, is that a 32 or 34? I don't really know... That, like much about them it's just um i know i like them that's the main thing but i love the the card the colors just the colors just all go together yellow red white the trees in the background snow on them white wall tours anyway again sorry for rambling i'll have a chat with you next time lads and I appreciate it thank you Stay safe, keep it out lads, bye bye.